Hello, I'm Morris. Welcome to Tanks Invest. We talk about investing, finance, and professional development for thirty seconds only. The investment I'm going to talk today will be from Tiki Tech. First, I want to say Happy Thursday, guys.、Right? A great week so far. Respect to recording time of nine thirty-eight a.m. on the Eastern Time. Your thumb could trade four thousand one hundred fifty-four dollars. That about three point one eight percent so far. As you can see clearly across the whole crypto market. Beside Algorand, which is currently up about eleven point six three percent so far, the macro market is relatively down today, right? And you can see that clearly in just position compared to the equity market, which is leaning more towards an upward trend. Seems like the Santa Claus rally、uh, is still enduring post the inflationary signal that we got from obviously Jerome Powell. But subsequent to the infrastructure bill that was passed on Monday, the current dynamics of the economy right now is、uh, progressing, you know, in more of a、um, upward momentum. So when people are,、um, you know, triangulating between the bond yields, we subsequently have some, you know, correlations to the, you know, U.S. dollar appreciation or depreciation. Um, with that specific affectation, we are seeing some buying pressure across the equity market to further sustain the sector rotation that we're seeing among hedge fund community, and we can see that clearly among specific tech stocks and high cap, high growth stocks as well. So when you see that type of、um, you know correlations, you have the direct anti correlation effect onto specifically the crypto market. And also on the technical front, this is something that we've been、um, foreshadowing. We know that we've been stretching for the last fifty something days. So when we were stretching relatively high on our RSI scale, and with respect to MACD,、um, you know the curvature that we form has been relatively elongated, right? So the market was basically looking for just a reason or. Some sort of a catalyst to pop the balloon, if you may, which is one of the reasons that we're translating into the current level that we're at right now, right? But some of the questions I've been getting so far is: Is this the bottom, right? How deep are we going to be correcting to, right? Is this a crash, right? And I think the high level answer, based on my understanding, is that this is just a healthy correction, right? We need to slowly reload, like rotate the monetary value that we have among the market. You know to recuperate the rally ahead of us, right? So I don't think we're in the winter of crypto, nor are we in the bear market at the moment. This is just a healthy correction. It's a needed correction to incentivize the market to recontinue the rally going forward, right? So that's a high level macro recap. So let's just take a look at the news on a micro and mac macro perspective, or more of a time frame spectrum. So the first ones on Baron six hours ago talked about、uh, with respect to forget Nvidia. This is the fifty seven billion dollars opportunity, and what they're basically saying is、uh, the metaverse opportunity, right? We have seen some of the new activity that is you know relatively still in the nascent stage at the moment, but there have been a lot of、um, You know, high potential growth of stocks that are in the metaverse space or in the pseudo metaverse space that they are trying to capture this new market cap going forward. You know, metaverse is a relatively new、um, adaptation in the ways how we live our live on Earth going forward. Right? We are basically going to be digitizing, and we almost seems like we're going to be living in a simulation. Right?、Um, based on some of the Demonstrations that we have seen on media front,、um, but seems like the world is going out there. And if you watch like those sci-fi TV shows、um, like Black Mirror,、um, you see that in the future, a lot of、uh, the you know、uh, producers or directors, you know, or writers that are writing sci-fi futuristic type of um, 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 stories, you can see, you know, metaverse is kind of infused into our everyday life that. Eventually, it's gonna feel like we're gonna be living,、um, and you know, be in the new ecosystem where metaverse is gonna be very intertwined in our everyday lives, right? So we are in the early inning of it right now. So the fifty-seven billion dollar market, I would say, actually, is gonna be、um, further appreciated going forward if we believe this is a new cadence going forward, right? We are slowly 
adopting this new generational type of um, economical shift, but also in terms of our everyday lives. Um, so it's quite interesting to see uh, there just a lot of money being thrown at this uh, futuristic, again, right, type of technology. And the, I would say even a new industry that's being introduced into the market. So the next point on Bazinga about six hours ago, talk about Ethereum wallet. MetaMask sees a 38-fold jump in monthly active users amid the rising NFT popularization. So this is something we've been seeing so far. Um, and this is basically uh, an analytical data coming from a blockchain technology firm called Consensus. Um, and this is the number that they've captured. It seems like you know they have jumped their user base from by 38 times in a monthly perspective, which is exponential. Uh, and it also translates into the surge of Ethereum in terms of price level that we've seen so far. Next one's on Decrypt about 15 hours ago, talk about Constitution DAO hits a $30 million in valuation per um, an Ethereum raised one day before the Sotheby auction. So, um, this is again a JPEG image, but this is a uh, you know kind of like a like an art form or like a fabrication of a copy of the U.S. Constitution, um, and it's selling for thirty million dollars in Ethereum. So quite interesting. Um, don't know much about it, but someone's willing to pay for something that's relatively artificial, right? It's a fabricated form of a document. But I guess it's the only one out there, so people are appraising this at a relatively high valuation. Then next one's on Bazinga about 16 hours ago, talk about why Ethereum Classic could get slaughtered amid Bitcoin Ethereum pullback if this pattern plays out. So this is talking about with respect to um, the current pattern that we're forming, right? If we do not sustain the current resistance level, which is technically 4,150, which is the level that we're kind of at right now, where would we be going to the next level, which we'll dive into technicals in a bit, right? And the last one that I see here is with respect to uh, another news, talk about Bazinga on 17 hours ago, uh, talk about a, a pullback might be imminent, but will this bullish pattern plays out? So let's basically talk about the corrections I've been seeing so far, what will technically be the bottom and how would we you know, what would be the next foreseeable future pattern that we should be expecting going forward. So that's the last news that we see on the news front. So let's just dive right into the technicals right now. Apologies, my throat is still hurting like crazy right now, despite me drinking water and I try to conserve my voice. And you could probably see, you know, my I'm like really struggling trying to talk right now. It's almost like I have like a baseball in my mouth right now. Uh, it's like very, uh, it's very hard to me to talk um, at the moment right now. Um, so right now, at the current level, we down about three point two seven percent so far, and we are at the bearish momentum right now, trading at the forty two out of seventy. We are, you know, leaning more of a downward curvature right now, so there's no propensity of going up yet. So knowing the fact that we did break the 4,150 so far, the next level technically will be going down to with 4,000 flat, right? And you can see that we try to sustain, but it seems like this is um, a negative pattern that we are, you know, it's either we go down or go up, right? But with the propensity that we have on the MACD front, the momentum seems like it's leading more of a downward trend. However, I don't see us to be crashing all the way down to the 3,150 yet. I do see that we will get to below 4000 which will technically go to the $3,850. And ideally, even in between the $3,450 to $3,850 from here. So I would ideally call dollar cost average around this level right here. And with respect to Bitcoin right now, um, we are at the 41.76 out of 70. And ideally, uh, because of the fact we're still in the bearish state, I would ideally dollar cost up somewhere around like the spectrum of 53, to between 53 and 48 from here. If we break 48, we'll go down all the way to the bottom of 42, which I think that would be unlikely, but I give that maybe like a 15% opportunity, like probability that we'll get there. Dogecoin right now, we are, um, I think a buying opportunity is coming. Uh, we are still in the bearish state, so ideally buy somewhere around like we are 37 out of 70 as well, around like the 22, 
which is the current level, to 20 cents. So I think this is a good level to dollar cost average at the moment. Cardano right now is not a bad level to buy right now. I think, yeah, I think right now is a relatively good dip. We are depleted based on how the setup right now with the 34. So I think Cardano is a buy right now based on a technical analysis. But again, if we break the current level, we got to go all the way down to 145. Solana seems like it's selling off still. So right now, uh, ideally, again, right, dollar cost average somewhere around like the 130 to 113. And uh, XRP right now, we are at the 40 out of 70. So it's basically contemplating do we go up to 110 or go below to 101. I think ideally the dollar cost average around like the current level or the one, 105. Between 105 to 101 would be logical. Polkadot is down about 3.36% 3 so far. Um, we are the 37 out of 70, so not a bad level. So ideally, dollar cost average at 33 to 25 would be logical from here. Algorand is, uh, you can see how crazy that is. We surge up all the way to 240 at one point. Um, and I think the reason is because we got to the bottom, right? We were at the 159 to... Which I said, right, 160 to 152 is a good dip, right? So I, hopefully some people actually got into the dip. And it seems like we are reversing, right? Um, we were at the way below 35 before, right, with the 38.37. So yeah, 160 to 150 was the dip. So I would probably weigh off right now and cool off a little bit for Algorand first before you incur more risk at the moment. Shiba Inu, I will wait until we come back down to the 275.0 to 900 from here, per our technical analysis we're talking about, right? So these are the risk management levels that would ideally dollar cost average at. Um, apologies again for my, my voice is really, really, um, my throat is really, really hurting right now. I, you know, my big part of my job is to talk uh, and to speak with people, engage with people on a daily basis. It seems like my body is failing on me, which is terrible. Um, I, um, I try to conserve my energy. Uh, I, I slept well last night. I had a good night last night with my family because of my mom's birthday. Um, but, um, I need to get it together. Uh, it's, it's terrible that my body's not, uh, uh, you know, matching with my mental energy. Um, but I guess it's the weather, right? Um, and also with respect to my, um, work-life balance uh, is probably my body telling me to, you know, take a pause, you know, maybe put a break on it. And I know you but you guys have been telling me as well to, like, take care of my body. I try. I try to eat healthy. I try to, you know, conserve my energy. But, you know, sometimes it, I, I have a lot of responsibility that's on my plate that I need to get through. And um, maybe I'm getting old. But that's crazy because I'm not that old either. So, anyways, I'm going to start rambling. Um, hopefully this... You know, risk management level dollar cost average is helpful to you. Um, I am going to go get some more warm water and have a breakfast now. Again, really appreciate you and stay tuned for coming up. <laughs> Take care. Bye.